Wagyu Gaming. Hey there, broskies. Wagyu here, and back with another video for Kingdom of Heroes Tactics War. Quite a mouthful of a, of a title, but still a very good game. Can't complain. So today we're going to be covering um, how to get stronger in this game and technically your progression guide as well because I think both of them come come into one like they're basically the same goal. So the, the way to get stronger is to progress through the game. So first of all, your main goal is to reach max level for your heroes. Oh, by the way, broskies, this is my second account as I was trying to make a re-rolling guide and how the most efficient re-rolling guide last night but you know it was quite difficult to actually re-roll in this game but then again i got this i got in way before i actually used my hero selector as you can see here i'll show you guys so before i actually use my hero selector as you can see here so i got in way so yeah and aside from this i got a few five stars too so it's quite a reroll. If anyone wants, I have a spare account with Ifrit on it. Uh, do leave a comment in the comment section below. And maybe we can talk. I'll, I'll do a giveaway for that. So yeah. So as you can see here, the first thing you need to do is to progress through the game. So to get experience through the game, there are a few ways. So first is the most easiest with no effort at all except for farming the item. So EXP transfer. I'll show you guys. So you can use these. EXP fairies, so they drop through the events and along other areas and buy them from the shop. Also in the... What's this? Let's check it out. So let's go to battle. Forgot the name. Oh, the rift here. So there's an event currently going. So here, as you can see, the trials of the ancients actually drop the EXP fairy. So yeah, this is one way to get them and they give quite a good boost of experience especially if you get the four star or the three star ones but currently i only have the one star one so oh well, anyway we'll show you guys how how it does so as you can see here if i put one one star level one fairy here it gives me one level however if i put a three star unit here it doesn't give me one level okay broski so do take note of that the level of experience given by the EXP fairy compared to normal units aren't the same. So the EXP fairies give way more experience. So this one gives 9,000, the one star one. And the three star hero gives only 3,800. Okay, broski, so do take note of that. So another way to get experience and the best way to farm experience for my for me is this is what I did. So as you can see here, I'm currently in brown dust. So I've been farming brown dust. I've cleared all normal brown dust as you can see here and i've been trying to clear a uh, hard one because i'm sure everyone is aware that by the time you get to conquer and you finish conquer brown dust you are able to unlock the altar realm as of now i don't really know what altar realm is for but that's why i'm trying to unlock it so we guys get to know what it's all about so yeah as of now i've been farming brown dust but before i actually got to brown dust i started off here so this is what i did so i'm i trained here in kent so this is the first stage, hard at max level. I clear this, I cleared everything, and then this is where I farm, at 1-1. So this is quite simple. With an EXP boost, this area gives 5,000 experience relative to brown dust, which I think gives only around 2,000 experience or around 3,000 experience for the hard difficulty. Apologies about the slow loading time. Uh, our internet is down. I'm only using mobile data right now. Okay, so we actually reconnected just in time. So yeah, and we're back to the the rift. So after that, your next goal is actually to awaken your hero. So as you can see here, I've actually awakened Inway and my Hermod. I got this from the LND scroll. So let's check her. Let's check Inway out. So when you awaken units. They gain increase in basic stats alongside gaining awakened skills. Some don't gain awakened skills if they all have their skills available, but majority do. So let's check out Morgan. So Morgan here, if you awaken Morgan, so as you can see, she gets increase in basic stats alongside awakened skills, power of the queen. So not each character has different awakened skills. So do take note of that. So I can't say if this is the same for everyone. So this one looks quite useful. So it has provoke, shield, and increased speed. So if you're familiar with Summoner's War, speed is king in all stats. 
So yeah, so I'm trying to test that theory out in this game, but so far it's not working so well. Because I think uh, the difference between this game and Summoner's War is that each battle has a number of turns limit. Unlike Summoner's War, you can stay as long as you want, as long as you finish the battle. And that's why everyone is trying to do speed runs there. But yeah, so it's quite difficult to just tank the, tank the whole stage out since you may run out of turns. So speed isn't really the best thing here. I think it's more of attack and a combination of crit and speed. So yeah, that's what I've been trying to do. So next, what you need to do is... To awaken your units, you need to farm Awakening Valley. It's pretty obvious. It's right in the middle of the game. So, so different units have different elements. I'm sure you're, you're aware of that. So, of course, you need to farm the element that you want. Like, for example, uh, Morgan was fire. So, obviously, we need to farm fire uh, dungeon. And the higher stage you get, the better uh, fragments. I mean, what do you call these things? Yeah, the awakening materials you get. Okay, broskies? And also, if anyone doesn't know this, there's also the option to combine some of the materials in order to create a higher tier one. And you can also break down the materials, as you can see here. Okay, broskies? There are a few ways to access this. One way I found out was through the awakening valley, and then you press storage. And then another one is to go back to your heroes tab. And... Uh, let's try a hero I haven't awakened, so Morgan. And then there's this storage button too here. So as you can see here, you can you can break this one, uh, the nature essence, and it gives you 10 nature fragments, okay? So in order to create nature essence, you, I think you also need 10 nature fragments, yeah. Also, at least they don't pen, penalize you, penalize you for uh, combining and breaking stuff. Okay, broski, so do take note of that. So yeah, this is quite useful, especially if you can only farm the lower tier, lower lower tier areas. So yeah, uh, of course, uh, let's not forget. Aside from the elemental uh, awakening materials you need, you also need the void dungeon. So this is like equivalent to the magic dungeon in Summoner's War. And the higher similar, the higher level you get, the better materials you get. So yeah, very similar. So that's the second way to strengthen your characters and this is very important because it unlocks different skills for your character especially the more important skills and the passives okay broskies so the third one of course is runes so similar this is all this is all what you do in progression too and the way you progress is to gradually you start from kent and then like you level up until conquer and then the higher tier you get to kent then you go to you, you try to clear brown dust and you, you start from normal and then hard and conquer so it's, that's the basic uh, progression in terms of the stage, the stage area. And of course, for the Awakening Valley, you just have to build your units up. So if you can't clear higher tier, then maybe it's time for you to farm runes. And of course, you farm runes here at Rune Dungeon. And this is like the third way, third best way to strengthen your characters. As you can see here, I'm only up to Fafnir level, level 4. I haven't cleared level 5 yet. Okay, Fafnir level 4 is an easy clear for me right now. So, this is one way to strengthen your units, of course. Both Fafnir's Nest and Sealed Armory drop different kinds of runes. So, Fafnir's Nest drops Vampire, Life, Charge Rune, Havoc, and Swift Rune. So, all of these have different set effects, as you can see here. Uh, Swift Rune gives 25% speed. Havoc gives 12% crit. And Charge Rune gives 35% attack. And Life Rune gives, gives max HP plus 20%, and alongside Vampire, recovers HP on attack, okay? So here for Sealed Armory, as you can see here, uh, they also give different runes. So this one is Earthquake Rune, Stone Skin Rune, Prophet Rune, Resistance Rune, and Revenge Rune. As of now, I would highly recommend just farming for Fafnir's Rune. As far as I can tell, all the good runes and the more useful runes are found here. And as of now, as this is the only area I'm really farming, even in my May Act even in my main account. So by the way, I didn't log in my main account here and didn't use it as to show you guys since I am quite scared to log it out from my uh, phone because I've experienced during my re-rolling experiment that every now and then the account doesn't really sync to your Google Play Store account. Maybe it's a bug that they're still trying to fix. I don't know yet. But yeah, just to let you guys know why I'm not using my main account. Okay, broskies? So yeah. 
So this is the third way, this is the third best way to upgrade your characters. So you get runes and level them up. So don't forget to level them up. Aside from set effects, the runes have subsets. I mean subset effects. Sub effects, okay? Sorry about that. So as of now, my best runes are in her mod. Because I find her to be the best DPS that I have. I, I'm still experimenting through the game. The game is relatively new. So as you can see here, these are my runes. So my charge rune, which was free, given for pre-registration, are here. So they're currently at plus 12. So make sure to level up your charge rune. They were quite useful, the free ones. And not just that. So of course, you also need to level up your other runes. Like I haven't really leveled these up since they're quite low tier runes. And I didn't want to really invest in them yet since I'm still farming for more. So yeah, these are three ways to level your units up. So let's now proceed to the progression guide as I've already tapped on it a little. Apologies about the lag again, bro's case. It's quite, yeah, I'm just using my mobile, mobile data. So again, for the progression, of course, your main, your first main goal is to clear the story. Clear the story un until Tartarus. Okay, bro's case. So that's your first main goal. And then af after that, of course, it's to level up your characters. So to level up your characters, I've already mentioned in the first part of the video. But just to reiterate, the EXP Fairy. And then, of course, you can farm experience and the experience booster. So you start out in Kent and clear Kent until uh, Conqueror. So it gives clearing Conqueror 1-1 gives you 5,000 experience with the EXP boost. So after that, you try to level up your characters as much as you can until you're confident to try and awaken your characters through the Awakening Valley. And if you're stuck in the Awakening Valley, then proceed to the Rune Dungeon and try to farm out runes and upgrade your runes in order to strengthen your characters even further. And then after that, uh, try to clear Brown Dust uh, Conqueror 5-7 uh, I believe. Yeah, that's the max. That's the last stage of Brown Dust Conqueror, so it's quite, it's gonna be quite difficult, and that's how you unlock the Altar Realm. And alongside this, if you're not if you're not really into the training part and the leveling part or the rune farming part, then maybe just to divert your attention, you can go for the Tower of Arrogance and alongside Arena. So in Arena, let's talk about Arena for a bit. So yeah, this is the Arena. So here, uh, there are there are weekly rewards. Be sure to at least. Oh, sorry about this. Where's the shop? Honor, on, honor store. Here. So be sure to claim your skill fairy. So th these skill fairies can be quite important. So they can be used to level up your character skills. And the only other way to level up your character skills is to uh, get dupes. And the higher tier heroes, like the five star heroes, it's gonna be quite difficult for you to get dupes. So the small skill fairy actually give you actually can only be used for the four star heroes and below. I don't recommend using them for three stars as three stars in this game are quite common and easy to find. So just use them for your four star units. And the skill fairy, so this can be used for any hero, like five star and six star heroes. So yeah, you can use this. So it's only 200 points. I think it gives you five points per, per win or three points per win. Apologies about that. I'm not quite sure yet. Yeah, I think it's 3 points per win. So yeah. So that's it bro's case and hopefully this video helps you guys and hopefully you can progress through the game even faster. So don't forget to pop your uh, EXP booster. It really helps with the leveling part. And yeah, thank you so much for tuning in and see you in the next video.